In this video, we are going to move to the world of Kubernetes and containers. And as we do that, we need to move to a container platform. The standard for IBM is Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform. And so I'll be working on that. Now, please note, the way we have built this deployment is on a VM running on our power infrastructure in the demo center. So what you're observing is 100% Kubernetes container-based cloud computing running in your data center on your power systems. So let's begin by showing you the ultimate application that I'm going to deploy. And so I go to the web and here is the routing for the application that I will deploy eventually. So just to show you that I'm not doing tricks or anything like that, I'm going to call this up and you will see that it says application is not available. It is not available because I haven't created it yet. All right. So that is the beginning of this exercise. All right. So I am going to log in. And by the way, today what we're going to be doing is building a sushi application and we're going to be deploying that and I'll be walking you through the concepts of properly deploying a container-based platform from your on-premises infrastructure out to the web. All right, so let me uh, put in my password and I'm going to log in. And now as the system is opening, please note that this can be used by all your developers logging into this system. Before we create the application, let me briefly show you what the container platform looks like. And in this particular version that we have in our demo, you have all this open source software, which is the basis of computing with Kubernetes, open source, Docker, open source, deploying workloads using Terraform, again, open source. And the Red Hat OpenShift container platform is the most open open platform. They are the standard of open source software. And so I'm going to walk you through different concepts in terms of application development to show you what it's like to deploy clusters and also the benefits of doing so to your enterprise as you move to this particular way of doing computing. And so the first thing I'm going to do is open a template of the application from Docker Hub. All right. So I'm going to go to Docker Hub. I'm going to open this up. So what is Docker Hub? Docker Hub is a service provided by Docker, which is the technology that runs the containers for finding and sharing container images with your team. It is the world's largest library and community for container images organized by repositories and tags. The goal of this first exercise is to deploy a container with a Docker image coming from Docker Hub. The image we will deploy is a simple website named Sushi Web. And so as you can see, I've opened up the repository where the image is that we want. I am going to go to tags and the one I want for this exercise is image 1.0. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy the Docker pull. This here is what I will put into OpenShift Container Platform in order to pull this image into OpenShift Container Platform so that we can then deploy this application. So I just easily click here. I've copied it. And now we're going to go back to OpenShift Web Console. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a project. So I'm going to type Sushi Web. And notice everything is lowercase. It will not allow you to press create if you put in capitals. All right, so I click create. The project was successfully created and I click here just to open this up. Now we're going to be asked by the system to deploy the image. And so I'm going to do just that. I'm going to click deploy image. And this is where I need to go and get it from Docker. So I click here. I am going to paste the Docker Hub reference. I click on search. And you can see that it's pulled it from Docker Hub into OpenShift Container Platform. So now we will deploy this. So it's being created. It has been created and I'm going to close. Notice that we have one pod. So a pod is the central unit of computing in containers. And this application right now is running on one pod. But let's say that this is not enough to run this application at the level that we need to in order to satisfy our customers demand. And so I can easily deploy more pods. So I'm going to do just that. So I'm going to scale it up and I'm going to go to four pods. So notice that the system is deploying four pods. I've just told the system that at all times I want four pods running and it is Kubernetes that will ensure that that happens. So if any pod was to fail, it will create a new one automatically. And that is one of the wonderful things about deploying containers. And I am going to go back to the pods. So let me go here. I'm going to click on pods and you will see that four pods were created. All right. And each one of them is unique. And if I click on this one, for example, if you look at this IP address, 
it's 128.1.37. If I go back to pods and I click on the next one, let me just click on this one, 128.1.35. So notice each pod has a different IP address. So they're independent of each other. That talks to the resilience of deploying Kubernetes and how easy it is. And now I'm scaling down to just one pod. It's that easy. And this is why developers love working in containers and Kubernetes clusters. All right, so what we need to do next is to create a route. So what is a route? An OpenShift route is a way to expose a service by giving it an externally reachable host name so that external clients can reach it by name. In an OCP cluster, the route is created by the administrator, and that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click on Create Route. This is the application name, Sushi Web, and we're going to give it this name. So I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to copy this and I will paste that, but I have to get rid of the HTTP, okay? And now I'm going to create the route. Route was successfully created. And so, did this work? Well, let's go back here and click on this and refresh, and there you go. We have just deployed our first container app, and it was that easy. So that's our first demo in the world of containers. And OpenShift Container Platform running on power in your data center where you can do 100% cloud computing.